If you struggle to speak with someone else in English, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we will be practicing speaking English together. So if you want to have a conversation in English, stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Karis and I'm the founder of EnglishArtsAcademy.com. I help motivated students improve their English. So if that's you, please do consider subscribing to my channel. But let's get on with the conversation practice. So this is how it's going to work. There will be three conversations for you. The first one, beginner level. The second, intermediate. And the final one, an advanced conversation. So make sure you stick around to test yourself with the advanced conversation. I bet you'll do better than you think you will. So like I said, we are going to be speaking together. I will be saying the words in red and then you will say the words in green. So you will reply to me. Remember to speak in a natural way. And as always, you can repeat these conversation practices as many times as you like until you perfect the fluency and the pronunciation of all of the words. If you're ready, let's start with the beginner conversation. And the topic is restaurant. So remember, I read red, you read green. Try not to pause the video, but just to read along in the natural way. Do you like to eat out? How often do you eat out? What food do you usually get? How much do you usually pay when you eat out? And do you enjoy spicy food? Me neither. And are you concerned about eating healthy when eating out? What about fast food restaurants like McDonald's or KFC? Do you like them? I see. Thank you for the information. Awesome job. How did you find the beginner conversation class? Remember, you can repeat that conversation as many times as you like, working on the stress and the tone. But now let's move on to our intermediate conversation. There's going to be some slightly trickier vocabulary words. I'll also be speaking a little bit faster and there will be more contractions in your speech. But if you're ready, let's start. And this topic, is travel. How many places have you visited? Who do you usually go with? And what do you usually do when traveling? So, what do you do to prepare for the trip? Do you prefer going to hot places or cold places?
What is your preferred mode of transport? Where is the next place on your list? How was that? So I've been listening and I can tell you did an awesome job. So well done. Did you notice some of the contractions used? So I have becomes I've. I've. Do you becomes do ya. Do ya. And I would becomes I'd. I'd. So practice those contractions in your own time. Before we move on to the advanced conversation, if you've got this far in the video, please don't go any further without liking this video. It's free to do and it just really helps me out on YouTube. Right, we've made it. We're up to the advanced conversation. Are you ready? And this topic is career. What's your desired job? Do you think that is a demanding job? What challenges do you have with being a nurse? And what's the best part of your job? What you hope for in the future? Oh, it's inspiring. A really fulfilling job. I wish you all the best with it. Sure thing. I'm in the mood for takeout. Congratulations on smashing the advanced conversation. I'm really proud of you. Remember, you can repeat any of these conversations at any time. Let's have a look at the vocabulary used in the advanced conversation. Desired. So desire means something that is wanted or something you dream about. It is a goal. Demanding. Something that is demanding requires a lot of time, energy and attention. You can even have a person who is demanding. Do you think? So, do you think can either be shortened to do ya, do ya, or ja, ja. Do you think we should go now? The reason we contract is it speeds up our speech and it just sounds much more natural. I guess. I guess can be used in replacement of I think or I reckon. Watcha. Watcha. So this is another contracted word and it is shortened for what do you. So what do you get shortened to watcha. Watcha. What do you think about the new Harry Potter movie? Fulfilling. Fulfilling. Something that makes you happy and satisfied. In the mood. So we use the expression in the mood in replacement of, I feel like. I feel like a pizza tonight. I'm in the mood for a pizza tonight. It's just a much more advanced way to say what you feel like. Well done on completing all three of these conversations. 
keep practicing them, keep trying to improve the speed and sound more natural, but playing, playing, but paying close attention to the stress in the sentences. Before you go, please do consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next class. Thank <laughs> you.